though the Steelers would miss the playoffs altogether. But now they've got a healthy quarterback, a hungry defense, and they're one win away from securing a playoff berth. And it may be this man's last time out of the shoot here at Hines. The guy playing his best football is the quarterback, Ben Roethlisberger. He's been terrific over the last three weeks, not throwing interceptions. And I think most importantly, Pitsy, Roethlisberger is finally getting help. Well, they introduced the bus for what could be the last time here at Heinz Field. And at running back, the fifth all-time leading rusher in NFL history from Notre Dame, rides the bus, number 36, Jerome Bettis. And you see Paul Amalu there at 43. The quick hit outside, and it's incomplete. Broken up nicely by Bryant McFadden. Dick Duran told us the key for them today, no doubt, is running the football. Mm -hmm. One attempt in that first drive, that's not going to get it done. Nick Harris punts it away. Randall L. is deep. He'll take it at the 19. And there's a lane. Randall L., one man to beat. And he beat him. No flags down. 81 yards. This was his biggest fear, was not covering kicks early in this football game. Randall L is going to see a little crease. And then watch watch the block right here by Crewell, just holding up his guy that springs Randall L. And then the kicker not doing a good job of pushing that runner to the sideline. They go to a two tight end set. Pressure set. James Ferrier with his second sack of the season. To get himself a sack on Joey Harrington. They could not recover in time. That's the confusion that those seven second level blitzers bring to the table. Second down and five. We'll set the rest of the offense next. Parker again. And he should have the easy first down. He does. That being in the offseason and maybe the sense of accountability. And start talking about Mariucci and all that stuff, but Joey certainly said he's tried. Coakley with a breakout. Coakley taken down by the kicker. 63 yards. The special teams have come to play for the Steelers today. Ryder motions out of the backfield. Plenty of time to throw. Complete. That's Miller. Fourth and goal. Bettis in the backfield. Two men in motion. Bettis, he's got to get it in. He gets it in. Touchdown, Steelers. No flags down. That's why he says he's the F-150. You don't need to put him in the shop. He gets a little nick. He just rolls. I want you to look at two blocks by this guy, Dan Kreider, and by Heath Miller. A kick out, a nice seal down by Kreider, and then the bus at about 260. He's not going to go backwards. They'll keep it on the, ground, on the ground. Nice job of avoiding the board in motion. They'll go with the draw. Parker and Parker is going to be about a yard short of the first down on third down pressure Eric is still alive throws the ball out a marker goes down the first ranked defense in the NFL to me that's got to be a tribute to the head coach Dick Duran yeah, these guys are giving great effort out here today great punt by Verdaki Drummond goes all the way back Picking his way. Ball is loose. Looks like they recover. The Steelers recover inbounds. They do. Brad Kiesel, the backup defensive end, comes up with the turnover. Sudden change. They'll run the ball. There it is, Parker. And Parker with a gash. He's got close to eight. Second and two. This is when play action works great. Go with the screen. Gets away from Redding. That's Parker. Parker pushed out of bounds. 
and close to the 10 yard line by Kanoi Kennedy. Parker looking for a lane. He almost had it. Bust is in. Diesel. Touchdown. It may be his last game here at Heinz Field. Now, if that doesn't give you a sense of urgency on this team, I don't know what will. Smith. Smith not getting a lot of carries on the year. Here comes pressure on the outside. Carter blitz it. Perfect call for it, but Palomalu runs him down. What a play. Aaron Smith recovers. But that's why that man is going to the Pro Bowl for the second straight time. He is unbelievable. Watch him run under Dominic Raiola with a little rip move. He's here. Going to fly under here. Going to find the football, chase it down, and then punch it out from behind with his right arm. Right by the center. Now he sniffs the screen oh, the whole way. Quick. Watch the speed and the punch. Pow! Right from underneath. Gets the ball out there, then holds the, the running back away from the football. You don't draw it up any better than that. Middle of the field. Jennifer said the third down conversions have been big all day for Detroit. A bounce outside by Parker. And look how fast he gets going as he gets the first down. Finally brought down by Bracey Walker. He picks up 17 yards. Over a thousand yards for Parker. The first steal running back over a thousand yards since Bettis in 2001. 4.7 yard average. He's got 11 carries for 66 yards on the day. You look at Hines, Hines Ward's numbers. And that should be an easy first down for Parker. 61 yards rushing in the opener against Tennessee. In the... Here in Hines. And that's a catch for Hines Ward. And Hines Ward is inside the five-yard line. Brought down by James Davis. 1,000-yard career receiving mark. Bettis. Bettis, is he in? Yes. Three touchdowns on the day for Jerome Bettis. The third time in his career that he's rushed for three touchdowns in a single game. And this is Jerome Bettis just pushing his way in. Gets good blocks from here. Gets good blocks from here from Dan Kreider. The rest is Jerome Bettis. Four yards out, him running downhill. Ooh. No, you're not going to stop him. No. The only way you stop him from running downhill is if you go down and check his shoe size and knock his feet out from under him. No, he's playing terrific. And let's get Greg Olson a little credit, too. The offensive coordinator, play caller, calling a good game. Roethlisberger on the move. Throw back inside. A nice adjustment on the ball in Arizona. You saw the number there on third down for Pittsburgh. They'll go inside to the big man, no question about it. For the Steelers. Lions loading up for run. They'll get a pass. Seam throw. Miller. And their stud rookie takes it all the way down to the eight-yard line. How crafty is Heath Miller as a rookie? Watch him here, Ronnie, and he's just going to run out and get right behind the linebacker right here. He gets behind Dante Curry in front of the safety, and Ben drops it right on the money. You just don't you don't run a better route than that as a tight end. Not enough depth by Curry. And Heath Miller, I mean, this is a guy that, as a rookie, is reading coverage on the run. Empty backfield. Ball better come out quick. Or Roethlisberger better come out quick. Roethlisberger might take this in. He scores! Ben Roethlisberger didn't like the coverage, didn't like the plan, and he says, I'll take this one. We don't need the bus here. Let me tell you what keeps it alive for Ben Roethlisberger, Ronnie. It's the fact that he never gave up on the possibility of throwing the football. Kept his eyes down the field, flashed his hand up. 
It held R.W. McCorders for a second, which allowed Ben then to get the edge on McCorders. He couldn't recover, and he punches it into the end zone. And mind you, the Steelers, if they get in, there will be no break, there will be no rest. And this guy never looks for a rest. Willie Parker with a big gash. Standing at the 20-yard line. Well, Ducky, the left-footed punter. Ball spinning the other way. That ball's hard to catch and no place to go for Drummond. The Lions came out roaring, so to speak. But turnovers have been the difference. Two turnovers have led the points for the Steelers as Parker fights his way close to a first down. He'll be about a yard short. Third down and one. And guess who's in the game? Toot that diesel. Uh-oh. Ball, ball. <laughs> James Brown. How would you like to have to tackle that, JB? They'll go to the run. Palomalu is standing right there for the run. And then right before the snap, he'll move up and become that eighth guy in the box. Here he is right here. As the ball's getting ready to snap, he'll come up, he'll come up, he'll come up. The ball's snapped, and he's in perfect position to make the tackle. Unblocked. And he'll go back to that pounding, and Parker almost broke that one loose. And they continuously show up in championship games. The bus. And what did you expect? And the cheers go up here big time for the bus. They just ran a little thank you on the Jumbotron for Jerome. And listen to this crowd. You got a yellow towel. I feel like wasting like like one. Waving I'm, one man. I'm sure we can find one here oh, somewhere. Boy. 13 years in the NFL. Good Bob. Who has his special chair, his personal chair every week. And that's the minivan. Deron Hayes. <laughs> we close out another outstanding year here at Fox. And that should be it. So the Pittsburgh Steelers with the win cement the playoff spot. And Jerome Bettis, three touchdowns in his final game, possibly, possibly, here at Heinz Field. And that is a final here. The Steelers have wrapped it up. For Ron Pitts, Tim Ryan, Jennifer Hammond, we say so long and a happy new year to all of you. Right now, let's go to James Brown in Los Angeles.